Alright guys, so we've covered all the basic strats, line combos, how to score, how to defend, and how to forecheck. So now what? It's time to put it all together and teach you guys the advanced tactics. I'm No Sleeves 12, and this is Attention to Detail. <laughs> Alright guys, so let's talk details in the defensive zone and offensive zone. These are going to be small tips that don't seem all that great, but if you add them into all the other methods and strats I've showed you, you're going to get to that next level of thinking, and that's what it's all about. So let's start with offense. Let's start on offense. When you get the puck in your zone, first things first, you need to get it out. The easiest way is to just carry it. Now, if your opponent has watched my forecheck vid, then so he's going to have your AI absolutely leveling you. So here's a hot take. Never carry it out if an AI is the one pressuring you. Pass the puck immediately and get it into the neutral zone. The AI, the AI forecheck is so overpowered, this can and probably will end up in a turnover near your net. If it's a user, definitely carry the puck out. Make one move and that's pretty much all you're going to need. If you're finding you're struggling hella hard at getting out of your zone, you should change your quick breakout. So let's talk about entering the offensive zone. You need to watch what hand your player is far earlier than when you cross the blue line. You need to have a plan of attack. I mentioned this in my other videos. What you want to do is say you're a left-handed shot streaking up the left side of your screen. Okay, what you want to do is cross all the way from the starting right after the red line, cross all the way into the offensive zone while holding the backhand deep going to the right side. What this is going to do is it's going to open up some space for you because you're going to get a CPU defender, maybe two, and the opponent, whoever he's controlling, to, to follow you. Now, once this happens, while you're holding down the backhand deke, a, um, you have an insanely high chance to, to draw a penalty. People instinctively want to poach check at the blue line to try and knock you off the puck, and your chances to draw a penalty go up a ton when you're performing a deke. So you hold that backhand deke and streak all the way across the other side of the screen, what you want to do is once you've got two or three players to chase you, you want to do the behind the back pass. Now this is extremely effective. When you start playing better players, you're going to see that they're going to roast you with it if you don't know or you aren't expecting it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to hold the backhand deke and you want to basically pass back behind your body to the open wing, to the opposite side of what you're streaking. It's really awkward to learn, but once you learn it, you're going to use it in every game and it's going to be insanely effective for you. Next up is the instant pass back. So this is what you're going to want to do um, when most of the time when it's uh, you're setting up the overload. So I showed you guys my way of scoring and my system with the overload using the overload. So what you're going to want to do is say you get down low uh, and you're setting up the overload, okay, and you pass back to the point. What you want to do is your opponent's going to first your opponent's going to pressure you at the point right when you make the pass, and because it's kind of a longer pass, he's going to be um, in position to try and attack you right when you get the puck. So what you want to do is instantly pass back to either the player that passed it to you down low or that third guy that's hitting in the half slot. What that's going to do is open up some time and space for you guys. Okay, now you might have to do this a few times, okay, back and forth, but in the end you're thinking one step ahead. So what you want to do is right when you have the puck and you're about to pass, you're not even thinking about controlling the blue line or the guy that you're passing to. You're instantly thinking about that second move so right when you get to pass it right back and now you're one step ahead because your opponent's still thinking about oh shit the guy at the point or oh shit the guy in the slot and you're already on to the next play which is one step ahead and that's what i'm trying to get across to you guys with these videos so let's talk about the behind the back between the legs deke, which in my opinion is probably the only viable one to use in the game uh, other than the toe drag but the toe drag has specific um times that you want to do it um, so with the backhand deke, uh, what makes it so effective is because it gives you a little acceleration when you do it, combine that with a slight change in direction, and you can blow by your opponents. Um, now for average players, this deke is going to feel very awkward, um, and you're going to need to practice it. So before you do it in-game, um, you just want to spend some time on the practice uh, practice shootout mode, uh, or not shootout mode, but the practice mode, and uh, just mess around with it. It's gonna, it's gonna, once, you, once you've locked it down, you know how to do it, um, it's going to be much easier for you. This one's quick. On the rush, when you're rushing down along the boards, uh, you can squeeze by your opponent by holding either X or A, depending on what system you're on, uh, or the backhand deke. A lot of times, the defender that's trying to pinch you off along the boards will just run into you, and it'll allow you to squeeze by. 
All right, four check. Something I've just started using is when I do not have the puck in the offensive zone, I switch to my goalie to have all of my players who are on high pressure attack the user to get the puck back. Now, I'm a Div 1 goalie, so I'm pretty confident in net. But all you need to do is when you lose the puck, hold L1 and X and switch to your goaltender. Now, if your team is unsuccessful in getting the puck back, hold L1 and X again, and you're going to switch back to a defender, and then you play defense as normal. The AI is so overpowered, you'd be stunned how many people can't handle it when you have five defenders or five um, players, all AI, attacking the attacking them. It's just it's crazy as far as uh, how effective it is. All right, guys, now on to defense. Player handedness. I mentioned this before, but when a player is coming on the rush, watch for what hand they are. Can they curl into the slot? Or are they on their correct wing, and you, they either have to shoot or pass to get into that glitch gold territory? Again, once you can see what they have to think about before they actually start thinking about it, you're already one step ahead, and again, that's going to lead to a lot more turnovers for you. Let's talk about positioning. Never get behind a player. When you're pressuring a puck handler, the second you lose a step, stop it. It's over and move on. Curl away from them and restart. Go back to the slot and begin again. The good players are waiting for this. And what I mean is um, when it's 50-50 and you've got and you're side by side with them and you're po-checking or trying to lift the stick, the second they curl and they get a slight step ahead, curl off them. Get away from them. Go back to the slot. Go to where they're going to go. Because um, if you just keep trying to follow them, you're just going to watch them go on a breakaway or get into a spot where they can just score no problem. The next up is how to deal with puck holders. When playing someone who holds onto the puck, you need to be patient because they're holding onto the puck in a deke motion, poe checking or stick lifting is probably going to result in a penalty. To counter that, don't chase, simply bump into them. Don't go for a hit, just skate your player into their way. Sounds super dumb, but it works so much more than you think. It won't draw a penalty, and they just get knocked off the puck. Next is learn how to roam. The hard part for players is they simply don't know where to be in the D zone. The easiest way to handle this is to use the staggered setup and control the guy that's supposed to be up top. While they dick around and, and cycle down low, you can hang out up top and be in position for when they pass to the point or when they go for a shot, you can get in their way. It's a lot easier while your AI is in the correct spot down low handling those guys trying to cycle. Next is don't follow the puck. Once the opponent has you chasing around lost, it's pretty much over. So make sure that you have a forward selected and look for the lanes the opponents can go. It's very easy to tell sometimes where they're going to pass to. Just clogging the lane will buy you the time for your AI to pressure and steal the puck back. Again, you just want to watch. If it looks open, then your opponent probably sees it. So just be in the way um, and anticipate where they're going to go instead of just watching the puck and just skating around like a drone. Next is shot blocking. A common mistake players make is they go down to block when uh, they know the shot is coming or when they think the shot is coming. Now it works sometimes, but if you don't time it right, that player is completely out of position. What has brought me a ton of success is just being in the way. I've played enough games to know where the glitch goals are, so I can just stand in the way to ensure I don't get caught out of position and block the shot. Alright guys, last tip when it comes to freezing the puck with the goalie. Do not pass ever. Uh, it's tempting to just you know not stop the play. We're all impatient. But it can just lead to losing the puck again and getting stripped. Or giving up an easy tap in goal. So when your goalie gets the puck, just freeze it and take the draw. Alright guys, so again I hope this helps. Thanks for all the views, subs, uh, the followers on Twitch. Um, again, uh, if you ever want to talk hockey or just talk shit, um, find me on Twitter at No Sleeves Gaming uh, and on Twitch at twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12. I'll play anyone anytime. So uh, I hope this helps, guys. I'm No Sleeves 12. Thanks for watching. Stay average. Your mama's home, we can bring it.